they are bringing you the ready network of clients they have direct access of the clients decision makers and they know the problems and solutions what this company is looking for especially about the contact center industry uh, there are a couple of ways that how you can get clients one if you have a really great budget then uh, you know actually doing the client acquisition activities in the states in canada us uk uh, partnering up with some of the companies there uh, marketing companies and hiring um, you know the sales agents and business developers team in the us that will help you uh but of course it requires a lot of budget because you know for startup companies for everyone it's not possible to have such a capital investment so sometimes it's difficult definitely um second thing what you can do is um uh, you know focus on digital marketing and content marketing because all the time it's not practically possible to have such a investment to travel abroad go there meet clients it's not practically possible uh, you know especially for startup companies so the second option what you have is focus lot on digital marketing 20 years back this was not possible practically possible there was no internet uh, people did not have mobile phones to look at the applications on linkedin and twitter and facebook now if you look at you know the consumer behavior uh how much time everyone spends on their mobile phones and how much time people actually spend on watching tv or reading newspaper is it is completely swiped exactly so the situation is completely changed 20 years back if you, this was a situation i would have said you know then you know doing some advertising campaigns or writing some articles in the newspaper would help but right now things is changed everything is available just in your hand that is your mobile phone so uh if you want some cost effective solutions i will suggest you is that wherever you are located whichever whichever the part of the world you are in and whatever the services you offer if you don't make the noise in the market if people cannot you know understand or if they cannot hear what you offer to them if you're just sitting in jaipur and then you know trying to search for clients they are not going to come to you there is no way so you have to reach out to them and you can only reach out to them just by creating consistent contextual content on several platforms and it has to be a consistent if you have budget hire a team let them do it or if you don't you know if you want to do it in a different way outsource it to somebody but hiring a team is definitely helpful but they need to be smart intelligent people who can understand you know what market is looking for and then creating it accordingly all right so i understand one thing the lead generation lead generation using digital platforms or content or uh, the right writing the right message maybe answering the requirement satisfying the requirement of the client or customer right this is first stage we have the leads right now we have the leads uh, via digital marketing and then secondly we uh, integrated with our crm and we start making call smss emails we doing meetings with them and then uh, moving them down the pipeline with the invoice and closing it this is what this is okay but i just want to understand like uh, people uh, the companies the bigger companies with maybe 200 or uh, 1000 people in the sales team how they are doing it is it the same thing wherein they just scale up the digital marketing process and more people are there or there are like uh, like people are doing cold calling so how do they get the databases and whether it's a good strategy or not like i just want to understand what's the fortune 500 people do uh, to be very frank uh, how can we get all those processes okay i will i will tell you from the experiences that you know i have worked with several companies cold calling will never work when you are trying to sell this type of services in the international market so cold calling is not an option first of all you call somebody at you know at a front desk and you are trying to reach a president or vice president or decision maker that there are very less chances that they will answer your call and they will uh, entertain you know to listen to you the this type of big companies first of all they have huge budgets on several parts so if you see their campaigns are 360 degree it's not only one thing they are spending heavily on advertisements advertisements could come from social media the direct advertisements in the 
um, industry associations, trade shows, they are sponsoring the events, big events they are sponsoring in Dubai or big cities. So when they are sponsoring it, some of the big events, obviously their services, they can showcase it at a front, you know, at a front desk. Um, so they have various, you know, the one thing is advertisements. Second thing is uh, even the organic content, if you look at it, look at any website. Uh, you look at Infosys, BPN website, WNS website, Cognizant, any websites if you look at it and you look at startup companies website, you will see hardly three or four pages website is done by the startup companies. There is not much content. Uh, there are not so many keywords used. It's not SEO optimized website. Are you there? Yes, yes I'm yeah. there. Okay. I thought uh, there was a loss of connection. Then if you look at the big companies, uh, corporate websites, they are huge, massive, and the entire database, they are making it sure that you know any lead that comes on their website is tracked and they are, again, they are running the ads against them. Or when they do the lead capture, when somebody leaves the email address, it automatically, automatically goes into their CRM and then they are sending it you know, through email automations, they are making sure to capture that lead and engage that lead. Then they have also another team who is actually uh, doing the direct sales meeting companies. They have channel partners. So they are they have their own in-house team as well as they have channel partners who are bringing the leads to them. The channel partners could be some of the chartered accountant firms uh, internationally. They could be uh, company secretaries, secretarial firms who are getting money from them. So these companies have the existing database. For example, any chartered accountant say, you know, if you're in Jaipur, but you are looking for clients whether in Bombay or you're looking for clients in New York, but you have, uh, you know, some of the CA firms there, chartered accountant firms, they already have the existing clientels. And when they have the clientels and you are offering them, you know, XYZ amount, uh, as a you know for the affiliate marketing or channel partnership program whatever you offer them they are bringing you the ready network of clients they have direct access of the clients decision makers and they know the problems and solutions what this company is looking for so coming back to your question these companies are have you know huge infrastructure resources network which startup companies initial, at an initial level, it is difficult to have. So you have to focus on one effort. If you try to do everything, you're not going to get anything. So you need, you need to put your energy, resources, time on one particular effort and then let it grow. This makes sense and uh, it yeah. gives me a good dimension and good uh, 360 degree view. Yeah. Right. So, uh, see, uh, we start uh, the digital marketing campaign. Suppose we are targeting a country, suppose Turkey, right? We we uh, we strategically come up with the mindset that let's target a country, Turkey. So we reach out to the social media channels, and we also develop some very good content to SEO. Start getting banned, retargeting. Um, no cold emailing, no cold calling, right? Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Even uh, I used to think that they have a lot of big database and call center people keep on calling them and they get some initial response and then they mature the lead from the, uh, that part. So I thought uh, that's how the big companies are doing it. That, uh, I'll tell you. Verifying, uh, I'll, it's all the first interaction I see you from. Yeah, I will tell you the reason. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about the domestic market here. Sometimes, you know, in domestic market, it's, it may not be that difficult to reach out to a large company's decision maker on, on the call. I mean, you talk to somebody and then, you know, if I call someone and if, I will, if I'm asking for a secretary of XYZ vice president of the company or president of the company, even if it's a big company, uh, I will definitely get through the, to talk to a secretary or assistant secretary of that main person. And then I can speak with him and then, you know, speak with him or her and then, uh, you know, basically give the proposal and then say that, can I have a couple of minutes meeting with Mr. President of the company. So it's not that difficult. But if you talk about the international market, uh, cold calling when you are trying to sell a strategic services, so services what you're offering, they are not low ticket uh, services or low ticket item. Like you're not selling a magazine, you're not selling an antivirus. You're not selling something which is very small. 
they are making a decision to outsource their um, department or they are thinking to off, you know offshore it or hire offshore agents from india then offering them over the phone call is not going to make any sense they are not going to make any decisions number one number two is that any small mid sized big companies also they are not only one decision maker many times they have multiple level of decision makers involved in the process so you talking to only one person is not going to help so that is why cold calling will definitely not work if you are you know if you are specially in this field so uh, i think the reaching to the right decision maker is important uh, and then uh, presenting them and then doing the sales thing yeah meeting definitely you know reaching out to the decision maker is important but cold calling will not work so couple of options will help is that you know you need to see you need to be present where these people are so where these people are either they if you talk about you know uh, if you talk about the mobile applications they are continuously on linkedin that means their eyeballs are continuously engaged on one platform they everybody now if you look at the professional network everybody is present on linkedin nowadays so they are definitely there if you continuously showcase your services on linkedin that's going to help you another thing is industry um, you know industry association meetings trade shows if there are some trade shows or conferences industry conferences are there that's where all these people that is decision makers they come and then this is the best time for you to exchange your you know your business cards and then increase your network develop the relationship with them and then this is how you ex- you know exchange the services okay. got it like uh, pretty much uh, there is a lot of concept uh, misconceptions which i had for marketing and say right. another thing is that you know if you are at a startup's level i will say that you know your initial 5 or 6 people i don't know if you I, i think you already have a company set up but i will say that you must have minimum 5 people coming from a very strong sales and business development background and the owner also must be involved on day to day business development activities you should you should focus more on business development than even business operations so if you are focusing more on business development and if you are monitoring day to day's uh, activities in business development how many leads are there in the sales pipeline what is the expected conversion how many proposals have been sent out what is the negotiation happening with the existing leads so if you are consistently you know if you are focused on those all those things uh, you will get multiple clients on board another thing is that don't focus on the large scale clients so instead of having a big client with you know very big process or a big number of people focus on small clients at the beginning so there will be a risk mitigation if one or two clients leaves also or if you know you don't win them if the client doesn't come on board still you will have chances to have another seven or eight deals close got it so okay. so uh, just one uh, final question i have yeah, so for uh, like uh, what generally happens in a call center like what i understand is uh, there's a set of leads which are there which needs someone needs to talk to them right and have one to one it's if it the product is having some b2c aspect right i'm talking about slight b2c aspect where it, a product like uh, aspect is there so uh, they generally use uh, some uh, calling software like dialer or online dialers and uh, correct me if i'm wrong and they connect their crm with the uh, software and like uh, the sales team is meant to uh, call them and know the profile of the customers and which stage they are they are interested or not this is how it is done uh, like a typical sales team which uh, uh, does it on scale so your question is uh, okay i'm just trying to understand your question Okay. Are you saying that to get such type of clients on board, what is the process and how the softwares are used? Is that what your question is? Or when yes. You, or when you have the client and when they're there, the, those clients are trying to sell some services through your contact center, then how it is used? Is that your question? What is the question? My question is: We have the leads, right? We have the possible uh, prospects we have. Then uh, we take the international numbers from dialers and other such applications, and we start doing calling. Right. This is uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the way to reach out uh, using any uh, like multiple dialers. Apps are there, softwares are there, services are there. This is how we reach out. Uh, the best way to reach out. 
like for initial conversation i understand the other aspect you told about i'm just not talking about communication yeah if you are so, if you are focusing only on outbound outbound calling to get clients which is not effective way, which I, which i said it you know if you are trying to get client to make you know if you are trying to get client to sell your offshore services you know, that they should hire some agents from you then outbound cold calling is not going to help that's not a so solution it's for partnership maybe if we do outbound 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 calling for partnership right we have to reach out to them via emails or via calling by sms by whatsapp so i'm just trying to understand email marketing automations sms marketing automation i understand i just don't understand uh, is it like uh, in a call center they have a dialing software a dialer which we call it like there are multiple softwares in which they connected with crm and they make continuously call and you know validity yeah i will answer that so if if, you, if any requirement that your business requirement is to call thousands of people and you want to save time there uh, there are two types you know there are a couple of types of uh, dialers are there uh, but you know typically is a predictive dialer uh so predictive dialer is going to basically decide it you know which agent is going to be free and then accordingly it's going to throw a bunch of calls um you know it's going to start calling automatically when the client answers the call it will immediately connect it to the next available agent so you can in, you know upload the database into your dialer uh, onto your crm connect it with the dialer and then the dialer will start calling so this is how it will work couple of uh, options of dialers or uh, dialers or crms if you know if you ask me there yeah, are various options for example um, salesforce is there zoho is there microsoft dynamic is there a uh, couple of options are there and several options are there uh, when it comes to crm when it comes to dialers you can consider genesis is there mytel is there so these are some of the great builders what is the name genesis and mytel mytel m i t e l mytel so mytel is the um so several dialers are there um you know so you can make a use of them and then system will do but if you are at a smaller scale um then you don't have so much funds and investment to put on you know this heavy softwares which may not be even required at initial scale when your call volume is going to be less then uh, one solution that i always suggest is 59 is cost effective so 59 is a good good solution for that um so for start up business is definitely you can consider it what what absolutely this was my question and uh, i got the answer yeah the, this is the, that's it like i had few questions and i have have the sure sure sounds good uh let me know if you have any questions any doubts uh, you know when it comes to business development side of it or anything message me on whatsapp and uh, let me know i will be happy to answer your questions definitely thank you for your time and uh, most it's a priceless uh, uh, opinion which i have received from you uh, most welcome and if you are any time in jaipur or if i am in pune i'll definitely see oh, you oh yeah absolutely and this is the like I, this guidance will definitely take me to the place which i am looking forward for right we are right. at the moment we are team of around 30 32 people okay and, um, i'm targeting uh, to like just make a process out of it and grow it and, um, everything like uh, i figured it out most of the thing which you have told uh, the gaps are there and i'll fix those gaps yeah yeah just just start showing up on the linkedin groups where your potential prospects are if you if you start showing up daily on those groups uh they will start relating it what services you offer so the, if you know any xyz groups that they are there on linkedin which are your potential prospects just start showing up there every day and that itself will uh, you know help you to bring lot of international inquiries absolutely thank you okay. and thank you thank Have you very much nice. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye bye.